Hello, mathematicians. Chris Pinto here from Skew the Script. Today, we're going to talk about what exponential decay has to do with influencer burnout. Let's skew it. To be clear, I said, let's think about TikTok. Let's not get lost down the rabbit hole for an hour. You just start Googling things and watching videos and clicking on things until you just don't know where you are anymore. Specifically, let's look at what some famous TikTokers, Instagrammers, and YouTubers make by being professional influencers. You can see here that some of the most famous influencers across all three platforms have made millions of dollars a year just by posting videos, photos, and dances. Ah, uh, the glamorous life of influencers. Imagine getting paid millions of dollars to sit around all day making silly videos. Do you think I could go viral for math vids? Hmm, maybe that's a topic for another day. But it's not always as glamorous as we think. Not all influencers make it big. In fact, most struggle to get by. Many influencers, especially young TikTokers, are struggling with burnout. It might look easy to just churn out cute little dances and jokes every day from your house, but the constant demand for new content, the struggle of a non-steady income, and an overabundance of negative comment sections has taken a toll on our great influencers. It turns out there's some math to explain why so many TikTokers struggle. So today we're going to use um, the math to answer this question. Why do so many influencers burn out? You can follow along today using the guided notes linked in the video description below. We're gonna look at two topics today. The first topic is exponential growth compared to decay. In an earlier lesson, we saw how videos go viral. On the first day that the video is posted, there might just be one new view. The person shares it with two people, so there are two views the next day. Each of those people share it with two people, and we get four views the next day. And this pattern continues so on and so forth until you have many, many people who have seen this video. With exponential growth, we see this pattern that the new videos are being multiplied by two each day. Once we plot this data on a graph, we see that the growth is slow at first and then accelerates over time. But what happens when a video doesn't go viral? Okay, let's say our new goal is to become an influencer. We make a video and we share it with 32 friends hoping it'll go viral. Unfortunately, the video isn't really that popular and only half of our friends share the video. This repeats. So we start out with 32 views. Since only half of those people share it, we're down to 16 new views the next day. Then only half of those folks share it and it only has eight views the next day. And so on and so forth. This time we see a different pattern. To get from one y value to the next, we're going to multiply by 0.5 or by half. Let's graph these views so that we can see the trend. I'll start by plotting the data and then connecting the dots here. We can see this curve, which we call exponential decay. Take a moment to pause the video and answer this question. What happens to the number of views over time? It's going down. Fewer people are watching the video each day. Pause the video and answer this question. What happens to the rate of change of new videos over time? Well, at first it's declining very quickly, but then it seems to level off and the decline slows over time. So how can we represent this exponential decay in a mathematical model? Let's look at that next. Remember the pattern we noticed. We multiply each Y value by 0.5 to get the next Y value. We saw in a previous lesson that repeated multiplication can be represented with exponents. In the exponential growth lesson, we were multiplying by two repeatedly. If the numbers we are repeatedly multiplying are between zero and one, we call this exponential decay. Let's take a look at this in more detail. On day zero, we have 32 new views. On day one, we have 16 views. We can rewrite this as 32 times 0.5. On day two, we have eight views, and we can rewrite this as 32 times 0 0.5 times 0 0.5. This continues for the last two rows. Let's take a closer look here. When the day is one, we multiply 32 by 0 0.5 once. When the day is two, we multiply 32 by 0 0.5 twice. And the same is true for days three and day four. So instead of writing 0.5 times 0.5 and so on, let's just rewrite this as 0.5 to the fourth power. 
Whew, that's much easier to read and write. Let's do the same with the other rows. Very nice. So now let's double check our work here. 0 0.5 to the zeroth power is 1, and 32 times 1 is 32. So this checks out. 0 0.5 to the first power is 0 0.5, and this times 32 is 16. Our work checks out again. Let's check this one more time. 0 0.5 to the second power is 0 0.25. This quantity times 32 is 8, and it looks like this works out. Now that we've established the pattern, let's write the model. We'll start out with this. y is equal to a times b to the x power. We'll let the x variable be the days since the video was posted, and we'll let the y variable be the number of new views. The a and b values will be different for each model that we create. Let's start by considering the decay rate or the multiplier. This is the number that we are multiplying y values by to get from one day to the next. In this case, this is 0 0.5. Now let's think of the start value or the y-intercept. This is the y-value when x is equal to 0. In this case, this would be 32. That's how many people we shared our video with initially. So we'll replace a with 32. And there we go, a shiny new mathematical model to show our exponential decay. Let's do a quick check to make sure our model works. When we substitute in 0 for x, we do the exponents first, and 0 0.5 to the 0th power is 1. Well, 32 times 1 will give us 32. Let's test one more point here. If we substitute in 3 for x, and then do the exponents first, we get 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 times 0 0.5, which is equal to 0 0.125. And 32 times 0 0.125 gives us the quantity of 4. And now for the truth about viral videos. Even if a video does go viral, it won't experience exponential growth forever. Eventually, the views on a video will peak and then decay. Remember the Nyan Cat video? This graph shows the number of times that Nyan Cat was searched on YouTube after it was posted in 2011. Pause the video to try and answer this question by yourself. Is an exponential decay model appropriate for this data? Well, here at the beginning, it looks like exponential growth. And here we can see a peak when everyone has Nyan Cat stuck in their head. Then we see this slow decline. First, it's quite rapid or steep. Then the decay slows down and eventually levels off. So that second part of the graph is exponential decay. Eventually, Nyan Cat's viralness wore off and the number of new views each day decayed. Now that we've seen exponential decay models in action, let's get back to our original question and have a quick discussion. We saw at the beginning of the lesson that young influencers are burning out quickly. Let's look at some direct quotes from the New York Times. As quickly as creators rise, they can fall. One TikToker in Toronto said that as soon as you get a taste of being a celebrity, it's gone. Another said that it's really stressful having a decline in views affect your financial stability. So take some time to think through this question on your own and then discuss with your class. Why do you think creators' content can rise and fall so quickly? Try to use the concepts of exponential growth and decay to defend your answer. Next, consider whether or not you think becoming an influencer is a steady long-term career choice. Explain your answer. Thanks for following along today. I hope you learned something new. We'll see you next time. Oh, I forgot to let's do it. All right.